Welcome back students. This is Megasham Raju, Engineering College Bikaner, Assistant Professor in Mechanical Department. Now, in the previous class, we have discussed the metrology of the surface. Now, we will see what are the terminology in this surface metrology. So, generally, roughness. <coughs> This roughness is caused because of the machining. If your machining is not proper or if you are going for a casting or some forging processes then definitely the material whatever the material you are getting will be having a roughness. So according to the definition ASTME American Society of Tool and Manufacturing Engineering Engineers defines roughness as the finer irregularities in the surface structure including those irregularities that result from an inherent action of the production process. So if you see here in this diagram finer irregularities so this is my profile so this is the profile and this is the form so this is the form and this is the waviness outline of the profile is nothing but an waviness and now roughness is nothing but an finer irregularities these finer irregularities is nothing but an roughness now the spacing of the roughness is if you see here in the definition, roughness spacing is distance between the successive peaks or ridges that constitute the predominant pattern of roughness. So from peak to peak, either it can be a positive peak to positive peak or negative peak to negative peak is nothing but a roughness space and the height is nothing but from the starting point to the peak. The height in the arithmetic average deviation expressed in micrometers and measured perpendicular to the central line. And this height is measured perpendicular to the central line. What is the central line? It is exactly a symmetrical line between the upper and the lower peaks. It is nothing but a central line. So the roughness height is measured perpendicular to the central line and it is from the starting point to the maximum point. Coming to the waviness. Now, as the roughness defines, it is an finer irregularity. It is a finer irregularity. Now, coming to the waviness, it is more widely spaced of component of a surface texture. If you see here, if you see here, So these are my finer irregularities and if my irregularities over the surface structure are wide. So from here to here this is one irregularity. If you consider this and this entire irregularity and that measurement is nothing but an waviness. Waviness height is measured. Waviness height is a distance from the peak to valley that is similar to the roughness and now because of the form errors the waviness will be happening. If you see in this definition waviness is an error in the form due to incorrect geometry of the tool producing the surface. If your geometry of the tool is not proper then there is a high chance of an waviness. For example, if you are just manufacturing some circular disc and because of some problem, if because of the tool problem, if I am not getting the circular disc because of the tool problem and I definitely I will be getting some elliptical disc. Because of that elliptical disc, there is a high chance of waviness occurring over the job. On the other hand, roughness may be caused by problems such as tool chatter or traverse feed marks in a supposedly geometrically perfect machine. 
Now coming to the lay, it is a direction of the predominant surface pattern. If you see in the previous diagram, so this defines the lay direction. In a similar way, here also you can see, this is my lay direction in which my tool has done the job perfectly or not perfectly. In which direction it has done will show me the lay. In the next slides, I will be showing what are the different symbols used to represent the lay of a surface pattern. Then flaws. Generally the flaw meaning is nothing but if you are just going over a smooth road and a bump comes into picture then we can say that this road is flaw but a small bump is just opposing it or it is nothing but an some disturbance. These are the irregularities that occur in isolation or infrequently because of specific causes such as scratches, cracks and blemishes are nothing but the marks over a particular area. Now surface texture, whatever we have discussed everything up to flaws is nothing but in surface texture. The definition comes like this. It is generally understood as a repetitive or random deviation from the nominal surface that form the pattern of the surface. Surface texture encompasses roughness, waviness, lay and flaws. Error of the form. There are many different errors of the form. Widely spaced representative irregularities occur over the full length of the work surface. Common types of errors of the form include bows, sneaking and lobbing. I will be discussing these three in the next slides. Now after the surface terminology, we will come to the next topic where we will measure the degree of roughness. For example, you want to, we are having some surface texture and we need to measure the roughness of, of a particular surface texture. So we have to measure, the measurement should be in some numbers, right? So that's the reason it is required to assign a numeri numerical value to surface roughness. You want to measure, it measure its degree, how much it is having the roughness, we need to measure it. This will enable the analyst to assess whether the surface quality meets the functional requirements of the component. If the roughness is within the limit then the job will be accepted and it is gone for the production or else it is rejected. <coughs> so various methods are employed to arrive at a rep representative parameter of surface roughness. So there are many methods to measure this roughness. Among them some of the important methods are 10 point height average value this method can be represented as rz root mean square value and the third one is center line average height re so coming to the 10 point height average method if you just see this diagram here we are having an <coughs> surface texture in the form of the roughness if you just see it in a micro level if you just zoom it and if you just see it, so the roughness pattern has been distributed in this manner. So this method is also called as that peak to valley height. In this case, we basically consider the average height encompassing a number of successive peaks and valleys of the aspirants. So these are the peaks and these are the valleys. So the, the down part is nothing but the valley and the rising parts are nothing but the peaks. So we will take the average of the peaks and the valleys and it is multiplied with a thousand and vertical magnification how much you are magnifying generally it is an unit. So one unit you will be having here. So this will give me the 10 point height average value or peak to valley height value in represented as rz so as can be seen in figure line a parallel to the general layoff trace is drawn so this is the line a this is the general layoff trace from the a are noted down so the average peak to value is given by the following expression so here so initially we will be taking the 
addition of all the peaks h1, h3, h5, h7 and h9 and removing the valleys from that h2, h4, h6, h8 and h10. So totally we are taking the five values together either it is an peak or it is an valleys. So five values we are taking so we are dividing it by five and then multiplying with a thousand divided by the vertical magnification how much magnify uh, how much you have done the magnification for the micro level you will be multiplying with that so that's give me the value of an rz